my friend welcome to my channel today I've got kiss gel strong baby blush and I'm gonna use some hollow powder oh nail teaks formula 2 is my base coat today and here is the beautiful kiss gel strong in the shade baby blush I love this one it's a dusty baby pink it's gorgeous I'm gonna go in with my first coat now I know you have heard me here lately talking about how much I love these formulas and I truly do. I, I've just loved every one of them I've tried. <laughs> and they're not, you know, easily found. They are very, you know, they're mysterious in a way because they're so hard to find. So here we go with our second coat. And I just am loving this shade. It's not one of those hot neon, you know, summer colors, but it's a very fun summer color. I'm going to use the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat over the top of all of my nails. I'm going to seal this in, and then we're going to get to playing with this powder. I will talk about it here in just a moment. I'll go ahead and start talking about it. Capping that free edge. So, the deal on this was, is I ordered some more of the uh, Baby Girl Lacquer Peel Off Base Coat, and I ordered the Big Refill Bottle. So I'm going to be using that Revolution by Picture Polish as my base to make these um, this chrome powder stick to the nail well. This is not what I normally use, but I, I read somewhere that you could use it, so I'm going to give it a go today. But I'm going to apply that and let it dry down completely. So back to this chrome powder. I got it from Baby Girl Lacquer. She sent it when she sent my refill bottle of the peel peel off base coat. She kind of threw it in as a, you know, as an extra. And it's called Galaxy Hollow Dust. And it's one gram and um, it's just gorgeous. I will have links for Baby Girl Lacquer down below. This is not sponsored or anything. I just want to let you know that she did throw this in for free with my order. And I'm going to just use my finger to apply this today. I'm kind of tapping it into the nail. And then I'm going to burnish it in with my fingertip. We'll show you how I clean up this mess here in just a moment. <laughs> so I'm burnishing that in. And the thing I love about these powders is, like, you, you think they're not doing anything. And then all of a sudden you're like, wow, look at that. This hollow in this is insane. And you do get to see it. It shows up very well on camera. The rainbow is really really, really strong. I'm going to use my lint roller to tap off the extra off my fingertip. Look, not too bad. I am going to go in with a piece of tape and try to get up some of the excess around my finger. You know, I don't have to go too crazy with it. I'm going to dust it off with my little fishy brush. But look at that. Look at that hollow. You can see it. I'm going to top it with the Pitcher Polish Revolution. You could use any water base, you know, um, base coat, top coat, whatever, just to get a layer on it to where it doesn't dull it down or make it crack or anything funky. Look at that hollow. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, the rainbow is so vivid. I am so impressed with this. So I'm ugh, just telling y'all, I'm just stupid excited about it. <laughs> I'm going to top it now that it's dried. I'm going to top it with some Posh Top Coat. It's mesmerizing. Y'all see, I'm having trouble even focusing. I just want to play with it. Move it around and play. This is crazy gorgeous. Baby Girl Lacquer just did great on this. I mean, it's been a while since I've been totally 100% floored by something. Oh my gosh. So there we go. We got that all done. And now I'm going to use my stamper, the old one that's got a rip in it, and I'm going to put some of this dust powder on the stamper. I'm going to rub it into the stamper, and we're going to do some stamping, some chrome transfer stamping. I don't know what you call it because I don't do it often enough, but um, we're going to give this a try today. Once again, I'm using my lip roller to get it off my finger. <laughs> and I'm going to be using this Fab Your Nails plate. It's the Fun 22 plate. There we go. Uh, yep, there we go. Fun 22. <clears throat> and I'm going to use this um, Brave Diva on the black stamping polish. 
I'm making a mess with it because I'm so excited to do this. Scrape with my beauty scraper. And then with that chrome powdered covered stamper, I pick up the image and then transfer it to my nail. You'll get to see it here better in, in a moment. I am going to go in with a piece of tape and clean up. And I don't do this often enough, so I haven't really truly mastered it. But I am really pleased with the results. I think that it turned out really cool. Tapping that extra off, getting up under that nail. Oh yes, there we go. I am going to go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone and just tidy up just a little bit more. Now, I did have residuals, you know, still on my nails or on my fingers afterwards. They're in my swatch photo, but after a couple of hand washings, they're totally gone, so not a big deal. Gorgeous. So I will be using that Revolution by Picture Polish again. Just like I said, use whatever water-based, top coat, base coat, whatever you got. Kind of seal it in, and then after it dries, then you can top it with your regular top coat. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Oh, I love this manicure. This was so much fun. So there we go. And there it is in action. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I've got a swatch photo. And I would love to hear what you think about it. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.